Welcome, everybody, to... The Probably Comics, Probably Movies crossover Whoa. event of the year. <laughs> Slash probably movies crossover event of the year. Yay! Wow! Roll time. I'm Thomas. I'm Tyler. I'm Link. I'm Jacob. And today we have a very special guest with us, our resident weed and night, Katie Fraley. Hey! Hey, Thanks, guys. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and, uh <laughs> She's pretty. Did you guys like... Aww. So, um, because the movie that we want to talk about is a comic book movie, and we also do a comic book podcast, we thought it would be fun to get everyone together and talk about the movie because it's a comic book movie and it's called <laughs> The Avengers. Avengers. <laughs> or yeah. Marvel's The Avengers? Yeah. Yes. Or Avengers Assemble if you're in the UK. Some of us saw The Avengers opening night. Link just saw it two days. Yes. He's super stoked about it. Oh, yeah. Um, basically, your, your big plot is uh, Loki is back with uh, an army of aliens and they're going to take over the Earth. And so Nick Fury decides that the only way to combat this threat would be to call on the Avengers Initiative uh, to get all the world's mightiest heroes together and force them to work as a team to see if they can overcome this threat. Lie to them. <laughs> yeah, basically manipulate them in every way possible. Uh, to, it's Fury. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's kind of his MO. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's the movie. Um, in a nutshell, and I guess now we're going to do our little twit reviews so you can kind of get the, the, the quick thing before we jump to spoiler town. Yeah, and the, the, thing, about the, the thing about this little roundtable twit review that we're going to do is that I can't imagine anybody has anything different to say than anybody else. <laughs> than That's what I'm already worrying about. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be like, it's, it's good. It, it is good. It's the best comic book movie. It's up there with Dark Knight, probably better than The Dark Knight. Um, yeah. The Dark Knight is only as good as The Joker was. And this one has, like, five Jokers is basically where that is. It's like everybody gets equal screen time. Everybody's awesome. Nobody feels slighted. Uh, you love every character except for Hawkeye. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to mention yeah. that. I think he got a little slighted. Like, I was feeling that, yeah. yeah. but he's lame. Like, he's lame. No, no, Jeremy Renner was lame. Yeah, I yeah, love Hawkeye. Yeah. Well, we can talk about that in, in, later. But uh, you, you, no, nobody ever feels slighted. If you've never seen any of the movies, he manages to weave in – um, <clears throat> all the origin stories super organically like somehow they just come up in conversation and you don't have to worry about like whether or not you've seen anything Brittany hasn't seen the Thor movie or either of the Hulks and <clears throat> she was completely fine same here Had, I hadn't seen any of them and the Thor one is actually really important like to the plot of the story like what happens in, have you seen the Thor one well because Loki yeah, that's the only one I missed out on but Thor, Loki is the, the big bad uh, okay. Link what do you think Um, I thought it was great of course I think my one gripe is that it was a bit slow to start Um, Ooh, no. uh, personally mm. so yes okay. <laughs> um, yeah <laughs> no. I, no I thought it I thought it t I thought it was a little slow getting going but um, once it did I mean and I'm talking about like the first half hour like after that just boom 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 it was great um, because they had to take time to like, this is a ten minute scene about where Banner was, and this is Captain America punching a, you know, pun breaking punching bags for Jen. I mean, they were it was all important. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that they wasted any time. I'm just saying that there was a lot to get going on. There's a lot to set up. Yeah, personally, I mean, there's so. definitely a lot of ground to cover. Yeah. Uh, initially, when you have so many lead characters, Tyler is squirming over there. <laughs> um. <laughs> I thought it was I thought it was great that uh, they just gave Joss Whedon you know full reign on it and he he killed it I thought he I thought he destroyed the movie in a good way <laughs> truly it was um, better than it had any right to oh be yeah. and and I really I wasn't expecting that much out of him uh, so I was I was very impressed in the way that he was able to uh, write and mold the whole story together within two and a half hours to make it very entertaining for someone who doesn't even like comic book. It, I, was, it was way shorter than I thought it would be. Mm, it mm -hmm. was, I th running time was 2.22. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I, th I agree that um, you never felt like you know any of the characters were stealing the show or anything. It was very it was very well done in, in the final edit and um, it was phenomenal. Um, I'm sure our, our local uh, weed and expert Resident would, weed uh, would yeah. be able to say a lot more about 
Whedon. Well, I don't know. I kept wondering if I was over, almost over-examining it from that angle, you know? Like, I'm almost looking for because that's totally my thing. Y'all know the Marvel thing better than I do. I'm on, like, the outskirts of that. Um, but I, I know my Whedon pretty well. But I don't know. What I really like about him is that every piece of dialogue counts, you know? Nothing's wasted, and one-liners can tell you a whole lot really fast about someone. And I feel like mm-hmm. that's what made for um, a lot of that backstory being so easy to catch up on. I never worried that I hadn't seen any of the Hulks or the Thor movies. And I didn't feel like I was missing too much. Um, and I had a lot of Whedon quips, which I think we'll probably mention later, especially towards the spoilery part. But um, really witty, really quirky, but not so much where you left feeling like it was cheap. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I had a ball. <laughs> it was. Uh, I just had a ball. I had, I a, just... I had a great time. Um, <laughs> Thomas I, was freaking out yeah. yeah he was freaking out i was freaking out too. i almost cried when the helicarrier lifted like oh, i was man. You know, very emotional about the whole thing but uh, i do agree with like i do think the beginning was a little slow getting started and then i think once once it got ramped up to speed it was totally awesome but the for the first 30 minutes or so it was just like wasn't wasn't quite uh uh kicking off with the the wallop that i was expecting yeah. but uh that doesn't mean that i felt slighted or that i won't go see it four more times <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's weird. I don't feel that way about the beginning of the movie at all. I thought it, I thought it kicked off great. I know? think I, I mean it... like like Whedon's Whedon's dialogue keeps it going, and mm-hmm. like the interaction between the characters makes it feel like. I mean, it just, I never felt like I was like okay, let's fight some people. I was more interested in them as characters interacting with each other than I was them fighting Loki. Um, so may- maybe that's maybe that's why. I think the whole first scene, not getting any of, not getting our hands on any of our main characters, and just having it like Hawkeye was the closest thing to an Avenger we got to see for the first that first big scene. Are you talking about like with the Tesseract and stuff? Yeah, dude, that was awesome. it was great. Wait, no, we're going to Spoiler Town now? No, that's not Spoiler. Oh, okay, <clears throat> I was just, that's um, the whole crux of the movie is the Tesseract. Yeah. The Tesseract, which is the the Cosmic Cube. The cosmic yeah, cube. What, yeah. Okay, which so, is established in. Uh, yeah. I am a little confused about this Tesseract cosmic cube thing, and you know I understood it, but I don't really understand it. Um, I just it understood me of it was this Tesseract from cube. Hunger Games because I'm that nerd, you know. Yeah. Like it just, yeah, I know, oh, but like it, that's up. all it makes me think of, and that's weird. Uh, the Tesseract is basically just a. Um, it has, I mean, it has the energy to create a portal from one side of the universe to the other. Uh, um, I guess you can aim it. Is that what the doctor was doing from I, Thor? I don't know. See, my understanding of how the cosmic cube works is that um, basically by touching the cosmic cube, you get to recreate reality as you see fit. Hmm. Except unless you're a red skull, then you melt. Mm. I guess. Um, but like, uh, like, for instance, in let's say... Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, the cartoon show, when they have the Cosmic Cube in there, uh, the way that they introduce Bucky into the plot is that Cap steals the cube away, and the minute that he touches it, Bucky falls out of the sky. Mm-hmm. And it's the only change that was made, and whether it was conscious or subconscious is irrelevant, he touched the cube, something changed. Uh, so in the movie, when it was like, oh, it's the source of like limitless energy, and it creates portals, and yada yada, I was like, I don't remember that being a thing. Well, it all, well, yeah. didn't it, it, but it needed the perpetual energy of the arc reactor to work, right? Didn't that why they put it on Stark Tower? Well, they were, they were, like I think they going? were studying it to make a better arc reactor for Stark Tower. Okay. I think that's why, that's why Stark was invested in the Tesseract in the first place, was he wanted to figure out how to use that to uh, create better arc reactors and use utilize that technology so that Stark Tower could be totally self-sustaining instead of just the top ten floors. And Nick Fury wanted to create weapons to kill Thor-like things that happened, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess so, yeah. Well, Thanks I mean, giants. it's his job. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I didn't like... Did, does the, is the council a thing that I'm not aware of? Um, no. The S.H.I.E.L.D. council? That was, I'm, like, really ominous and very um They were just, Kubrickian. like, nagging mothers that yeah. didn't yeah, really have any influence real, on anything. I don't think they really just stupid. represented the government. I mean, that was you know. really... I didn't like that at all. I thought that was stupid. Or like yeah. international representation? Of but, that yeah, I, I guess... Because they were the ones that... I think... But they're really important. That's the thing, is... Well, they're not really... Well, they uh, made them important in this, but... Yeah, but they're not like a thing. Well, yeah, yeah, not in reality, Link's but... Link's our Avengers guy. Right. So that's why, I mean, I fold to your expertise, but I don't, I've, I don't ever remember seeing I, them anyway. No, yeah, I've never seen anything like that. Okay. Um, um, can I say not this? Not Marvel. Why aren't there more uh, robot clones of Nick Fury? I don't know. What do you mean? You know, Nick Fury LMD? is never actually. Yeah, it's life the the life model decoy or whatever. Um, yeah. Well, because this is uh, Nick Fury Junior. 
they but don't have, he doesn't yeah, have robots yet. Yeah. I guess yeah. so. Yeah. But uh, but whenever I think of whenever I think of <laughs> that's Nick Fury, a little that's a little inside baseball, by the yeah, way. Sure. Whenever yeah. whenever I think of Nick yeah. Fury, I always think of the fact that whenever you talk to him, you're probably never actually talking to him. You're yeah. just talking like to Dr. the light bottle decoy. Yeah, it's like Dr. it's a Doom bot. Yeah. Yeah. It's never yeah. actually him. And that's part of his whole like mystery shady thing that you're like you don't really know if it's him or if you can trust him or. Well, they definitely like okay. Let's get let's get real nerdy. In the Marvel, <laughs> nerdier than we were. Yeah, in the in the Marvel miniseries that just wrapped up Battle Scars, they established why Nick Fury is black in the in six one six. The main Marvel universe. Because in Ultimate Universe, he already is. That's where Samuel Jackson's character is based on the Ultimate Universe. Yeah. Oh, but okay. the six one six universe needed to get that integrated in. They also needed to integrate Coulson. Philip Coulson. Um, so cheese they, Coulson. Cheese. So Battle Scars was there specifically to, to do that. So there there's something to be said like. I mean, I'm probably just, they probably just didn't even care enough to do something like that, but maybe he doesn't have his robots yet. Because yeah. he just became, technically, he just became Nick Fury um, as of like Battle Scars and last Iron Last week. When was he in Iron Man 1? I don't know. Was he I don't the, read Iron Was he Man. at the end of Iron No, 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 the movie. Was he at the end of Iron Man Nick 1? Nick Fury? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. But remember, this: the, the movies are all loosely based on Ultimate Universe. Um, they're, they're not based except on 616. Thor, except for Thor's hammer. Except for Thor's hammer, right. 616, because he's got an axe and... Yeah, it's like a hammer on one hammer side, axe. axe on the other. It's a yeah. axe. Um, it's an hammer axe. Wow. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> wait, I'll get you, Conan O'Brien. <laughs> uh, but yeah, sorry and, guys, <laughs> sorry. The, but yeah, the, the the cinematic franchises have all been sort of based on that. Hence, why when when they started Ultimate Universe and they brought in Nick Fury, they drew him to look like Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, because six one six six one six Loki, he did. He's a crow. Well, he yeah. E. Cole. Well, yeah, he's he's crow. a child, isn't he? Well, that's reincarnated Loki, and it's technically different because evil Loki, like in the movie, is the crow, right? Yeah, he the took. Part. Yeah, he took. I've read a couple issues of Journey into Mystery. Yeah, I <laughs> sort of know what's going on. I'm gonna tell. You, I'm gonna tell you. Tom Hiddleston is like. Oh, he was on point. Oh my god! Yeah. Like, ever of all the characters that was uh, that were perfect for like if you're reading the comic book and then you, that character <clears throat> that character then you read. And then you watch the movie. Loki was the most pitch perfect of all of the characters. I can I mean, agree with he that. He was uh, every like his facial uh, facial expressions, the way that he spoke, uh, like the, uh, the his He's swagger, got sweet horns. Yeah, his general swagger. Yeah, he actually like, looked good in that helmet. Which, I, like, when I first saw that they were putting him in that helmet, I was like, God, he's gonna look like an asshole. Yeah, and he looked and, really good. And the yeah. fact that he's super easy to beat. Like uh-huh. Loki is really <laughs> Loki is really easy to uh-huh. beat. He's just gonna trick the shit out of you so you do it wrong. Yeah. Like cheese. Spoiler. Oh man, that like we gotta quit calling him cheese because no one's gonna understand. What biggest that means. disappointment Jeez. to me, or like bummer Phil for Coulson. me, oh, was uh, was the loss of Coulson. Like, uh, okay, especially after in, all we're the... in spoilers now. Oh, uh, yeah, we have uh, officially gone to spoiler town. Yeah. Yeah. Spoiler, spoiler town. Spoiler town. Spoiler town. Spoiler town because spoiler town. there's not there's not spoiler a lot of movies for you. <laughs> there's not a lot of spoilers. <laughs> there's not a lot of spoilers to be had with this movie anyway. Yeah, we were because talking about it's a that super it's a superhero movie. You know, it's like I mean, you know, the good guys are gonna win. The good guys win. Oh, okay, and that so you can't really spoil it too much, but. Like the big, let's talk about that because like Coulson is a fairly beloved character and he's really ingrained in the side characters of all these movies like Pepper Potts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're, they're like BFF. Mm-hmm. His first name is Agent. His first name. <laughs> his first name's Agent. Um, so it, and like the fact that that was what it took to get them together, they had to kill him off. I and thought he's was, willing to say it as his yeah. last words. That was that struck me as Whedon, but it's again, very, yeah, yeah, very yeah. Whedon, very it, meta. It was super. Yeah. It was super. Like, I mean, you you saw it coming from a mile away once yeah. he was fighting him, but it was kind of like I mean, it was pretty. It was really surprising because they've established him as like the Shield agent. Yeah, uh-huh. you know, like he's the one. He found Thor. He found the Hulk. He found all of them, mm-hmm. and now he did. He so did. I thought that was an inter- I thought that was interesting. I really hope Maria Hill is not the new Agent Coulson because she did not do as good a job as I would have liked her to. Yeah. So can we talk about that? There's a there's a couple people I want to mention that were not that great. Okay. And I know it's, it's difficult for me to uh, Robin Sparkles. complain Robin about Co- about a Kobe movie that was so good. Smolders, Kobe, which is the Smolders. pornest name for a non-porn actress I, think, yeah. I have yeah. ever heard. I'm gonna yeah. tell you, she's a. Uh, She's attractive. She's uh, yeah. 
She's a good-looking lady. Uh, yes, she is. Uh, dude, going I right, her IMDb her photo for eating crackers. I know. I looked it up earlier. Yeah, mm. she's super hot. I uh, would. I wouldn't kick her out of bed for being in America's number two sitcom. So, uh, <laughs> what was her character? And she's Maria Hill. Maria is Maria Hill like an established? Oh yes. Okay. She's, mm-hmm. uh, Civil War was my first time to really read about her. That's really when um, she stepped up. And yeah. Became... Well, because Fury's gone, so she's the new director of Shield. Um, she is a stone cold bitch. Okay, so when when Loki comes, mm-hmm. you know, wh- why is he like? What was the whole point of him like? Why was it only him coming to do the thing that he needed to do to get the cosmic cube to do the portal? He, well, like, he's well, he's, he's like, what's dick? his whole he's, deal? Like, I mean, I know he's he wants play? Talker, he but wants I mean, to he basically wants to take control of Earth because it's Thor's. Like Thor is guardian of Earth or Midgard, right? Mm, yeah, Midgard, right. And Loki hate is like super jealous of Thor because they're right. adopted brothers and stuff. So he wants to take Earth from Thor, and uh, the alien who name escapes me again, the Ultimate Scroll, the Chitari. The Chitari. Chitari, they um, they strike a deal with him to get the Cosmic Cube, and they'll give him Earth, and then he can, and then they can have everything else. Uh oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. But I mean, he's a little bitch. He's a yeah. he's a total he's bitch. A he was bitch. a bitch in the Thor movie, and he was the bad guy in that too. So, I I do. <laughs> I do like how they couldn't get Natalie Portman on board for the movie, so then so yeah. they showed her a picture. They were like, "Oh, we, we, she's in Canada. She's safe. <laughs> she's, she's safe. She's cool. That's all you need to know." She's well, her safe. and uh, Liv Tyler wasn't around. Um, That's a different. No. I don't, well, I don't, no, it's not. No, this is the same. Band. Oh, I'm thinking uh, Jennifer Connelly. Yeah. Well, I'm glad Natalie Portman wasn't in it because she sucked in Thor. Yeah, she did. Mm. It was it was brutal. Awful. She is an ugly me crier. That she was in it. I mean. She, it, well, I mean, yeah, they get these. They get big names for the girls, like Gwyneth Paltrow. Is mm-hmm. yeah. she's perfect as Pepper Potts. Yeah, she's awesome. a fantastic Pepper Potts. Um, great Pepper. The they scene get, she was in was great. They get Pepper, the live. They Pepper. get the live. Tyler for the um, Betty Ross. Betty Ross, and she's nowhere to be found. But that makes sense because Hulk's been off the radar. For, yeah, right. And so, s- the Scarlett Johansons for uh, the black, the black, the black Widow. widows, for the yeah. black widows. Mm-hmm. Yeah, can now, we talk about? Well, before we move on to. Um, her being totally awesome. Yeah, let's finish um, his three that he didn't like. I I, I also want to talk about uh, Jeremy Renner as Hawkeye. Yeah, mm. weak. Hawkeye is yeah. um, he's a quick witted, smart, sarcastic piece of shit, and I love him. And he yeah. has real problems with authority, which is why this this incarnation of of Hawkeye made absolutely no, no sense. sense at all. No yes, sense. sir. Thank you. Sir. Well, yeah. Y- yeah, because. It, he wasn't Hawkeye for the most of it. Yeah, but he was still like that, like under Nick Fury, you know? Like when right. Nick Fury he was like, hey, you go bland. do whatever you want. What? Is that fair to say he was kind of bland? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah very like bland. A, really one dimensional. But uh, I think that's, uh, what's his name? Jeremy Renner? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's just kind of his acting. He's just not very good. He's just not uh, that good. He was really good in Mission Impossible Foe. Mission Impossible, which number? Foe? Yeah. Foe? Yeah. Well, that's why he was in Mission Impossible 4. What else was he in that, who, that he was really good? Uh, Hurt Locker. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, and he was kind of like a douchebag in the Hurt Locker too. It would have been behooved him to pull from that character. Mm-hmm. I think though that you've already got a yes sir, thank you, you know, thank you sir, kind of a character in Captain America, which you know, which yeah. makes which is Coulson. endearing from him. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, you know, but like, so to to have another one that does does whatever the man says is kind of redundant. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. Well, and they didn't. He spends so much of the movie. Being a bad guy, yeah. And then I felt like when he's brought back, there wasn't really any drama in that. I didn't feel like there was any closure. I kept waiting for it to be a trick. And yeah, that, it was and like it was definitely like, yeah. well, I hit your head and uh, you're, you're yeah. fine now. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh, oh, okay. yeah. that was definitely the weakest part of the plot. Days ex widow. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> that happened yeah, to the, It happened. It was worse with the doctor. The doctor just fell down. Oh. Yeah. And then he was fine. You're fixed. Like, it was just like, oh, uh, okay. I it's guess like we, they could we, have tripped earlier. Joss was like, oh, shit, how do we do this? Ah, uh, they fell down. Yeah. And he fell. Thomas, who's, was there a third? Who? No, just those two. Okay. Just those two. Um, Sam Jackson wasn't as great as I wanted him to be. Mm. but um, I think and, Until great. he RPG'd the, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the jet plane. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was, was sweet. That was classic Sam Jackson is like, oh, no, and then just like yeah. ran out and blew up a plane. I want these yeah. motherfucking snakes <laughs> off this motherfucking plane. Yeah, it's... Uh, off this Monday to Friday plane. this <laughs> Monday to Friday plane. Uh, uh, it, uh, yeah. Uh, but well, yeah, we can talk about a breakout performance of the entire movie was definitely Scarlett Johansson. Absolutely. Surprisingly yeah. When good. did she learn to act? Woody, Her- Woody, uh, Woody <laughs> Allen must have really taken, him, taken her and mm-hmm. molded her into some kind of an actor. Uh, because she's been pretty god awful in everything she's done up until now. 
Um, and she was a perfect black widow. Like the way that she, uh, she, she sold the master of interrogation super oh, yeah. well. Oh yeah. yeah. That like was great. she She's sold. Like, I'm in an interrogation. Yeah, she sold it He's so well. He's giving up everything. I am not giving up everything. She, she was perfect. The only thing I always picture uh, Black Widow with a uh, Russian accent of some yeah. kind. Yeah. She's yeah. from there because she's Russian. Yeah. So well, and they, and they even said she says I'm Russian. You know, sort of. Yeah. Or I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was Russian. Right. When you leave Russia, you, 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 you Russia leaves. You get a you, neutral you, American accent. You, 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 uh, so speaking of Black Widow, one of the one of the things that I really liked about the whole the whole movie in general, like the stunts, like that stunt crew dude. needs to be. Yeah. Oh my God, Captain America! The way that the way that the Captain America used his shield was fucking mind blowing. And when they mm-hmm. even when he didn't have the shield, and they still are like, oh, he's a thrown weapons expert. Like you have to right. That's, like, yeah, that was. He like, picks he up like a piece of shrapnel and just, and just it. shucks it's, it at a guy. So good, but then my I think my fa- my standout stunt moment was when they the grenade happened and he had to like ball up behind his shield and in the air. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. amazing. Great. I was like, who? Like Joss Whedon's directing that movie, going, okay, a ball up behind the shield, it'll be awesome. Yeah, yeah. like who would think of that? And it's brilliant, and it works perfectly, and mm-hmm. it like. It, the way that the fan service of uh, the repulsor blast off of Cap Shield. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Oh, yeah. Like, and that, Team that Fusion. happens all the time <laughs> in the comic books. And it's it was just, uh, all of it was I amazing. really like how they played into uh, uh, how almost primitive his, his skill set is now. Yeah. That, like, he's really, in the movie, it just really showed he's good at, like, planning and, like, executing. Oh, yeah. But yeah. then, like, you know, when he's standing next to Thor, who commands lightning and thunder, and, you know, Iron Man, he's just like, I'm gonna run. Yeah. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'll take the stairs. Sure. Yeah. And, and, like, the other thing that... The other thing that's interesting about this movie kind of getting a little bit off topic is that it's built on... It's basically built on the success of Iron Man. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it's very Iron Man-centric, which is not the case, like, in the actual comic books. Yeah. Steve Rogers... Well, is the yeah we're Avenger over Iron Man and after Civil big War time. like it's like Steve Rogers is the leader and he's the main Avenger for the most part uh-huh. and you don't get you you really I I never got that sense I felt like they were like okay Iron Man's the one people know they'll get at he'll get asses in the seats let's Iron Man that's but very it, fair but it seemed like he and Captain America kind of had that you know butting of heads but where that, he wanted to take over he's not that's not like an established thing that well happens. and well, and yeah. even then at the at the very at the like the last big battle is the moment where everyone concedes to captain america's authority yeah. awesome he just gives out orders mm-hmm. and everyone does it classic. line of the movie yeah classic. line of the movie hulk smash, smash. Hulk. and i wanted everyone in the theater just to like at the same time go smash <laughs> like, <laughs> like did everybody I was clap so did everybody clap when hulk Smash Loki real bad. They didn't. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. We all clapped. Oh, that was there cool. was a big, huge like, it was awesome. laughter and yeah. That was. I mean, the Hulk. Let's talk about the Hulk. The yeah. Hulk. Yeah. That's the next thing. Strongest I Strongest part out. of the whole Mark movie Ruffalo. to me. Mark Ruffalo as David B- Bruce Banner. David Bruce Banner. David. David Bruce Banner. You know? Did you know? You know the story about why they renamed him David for the TV show? Because Bruce Banner sounded gay. Because oh. Oh. <laughs> they're not wrong. Yeah, he kind of. Name. Could you imagine kind that meeting? Douche. Yeah. Like, uh, so I, I have an issue here that I wrote down. <laughs> um, uh, it's are we married? It's about to Banner's Bruce name. Banner, because it sounds because it sounds super really gay. gay. It so, sounds like cock breath. Can we, can we all vote for? This is the seventies, and we're and we're a little bit old fashioned. Why, why not David? Yeah, David. Ooh, David Sorry. Banner. That oh, sounds David. nice. That sounds like a nice, respectable, tortured yeah. soul. It sounds like a good young man. Bruce. Uh, Bruce Banner. Um, yeah. <laughs> perfect, perfect execution by Mark Ruffalo as, oh, yeah. as Bruce Banner. Yeah. Bruce Banner was almost a more interesting character than the Hulk was, because it was like it was mm-hmm. it, it just it, it's the same reason why uh, Jason. Here we go again. This is the same reason why Jason Aaron's Incredible Hulk is so good mm-hmm. because it's not about like Hulk real strong and can beat things to yeah. death. It's about Hulk hates self yeah. and mm-hmm. don't want be Hulk. So it, that's and that's an interesting kind of that's an interesting dynamic that didn't, or use articles. that got explored in the original ones, but not really. Most of it was just like, "Ooh, is he? He's bad. Let's kill." Him. Well, he, oh, he's not bad. And then the end of the movie, um, mm-hmm. but especially that line where he's like, "You can't kill me. I've tried." He spit the bullet out or something like that. The other guy. The other guy. 
Uh, I, I stuck the gun in my mouth, pulled the trigger, and the other guy spat it out. It's it's that's haunting. Like yeah. to think yeah. about to think about that. That's like truly haunting. To yeah, me. I mean that was that was the perfect like just sentence to de- describe their relationship. And they between were all Hulk like, and uh, like yeah. nobody had anything to say about that yeah. at all. Yeah, and, Mark yeah, Ruffalo, yeah. When they say, Bruce, put, put this beard down. Put, put, down, <laughs> like, put down the step. Yeah. yeah. And it's like and he's like got it like and he's like. Oh, yeah. Because that was, uh, uh, yeah, I guess that was Loki's plan, was to get him angry in the ship. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Which, of course, Widow finds out awesomely. And spoiler alert, uh, uh, apparently he, We're still can, po- spoiler he can just control uh, the Hulk. Yeah, I, I didn't I really think start reading Hulk until recently, uh, really until he and Banner mm-hmm. split. Before that, was there a point where he no. was yeah, yeah. in control? Yeah. Before they split, like during the Fear Itself stuff, he was. He was in control. Yeah, yeah, because he and he and Betty ran around. Yeah, that's and that's why they were in like Brazil when yeah. the hammer hit. So. Well, in the movie, it seemed a little inconsistent then because w- when he went Hulk on the ship, he just wanted to kill the Black yeah. Widow. But then I, all of a sudden, he showed up later and was like, "I get the sense that he he can go Hulk whenever he wants, but if he gets mad, he's going to go Hulk in without meaning mm-hmm. to." Yeah, like oh. he can he can do it manually, but there is an automatic setting that he has no control over. Yeah, that's right. that's kind of where that's kind of where I. And that may that may also be like me giving Joss Whedon a inch when or take let him take a mile when I give him an inch. Well, and um, I I feel like they they sort of talk about that in the movie a little bit, like because of course you know there's the part where he's always angry. Yeah, that's when he that's um, when we find out they, that he can just do it. But they they do talk about how he's like it's it's not that it's just everything gets destroyed. He's like I can kind of aim it, but yeah, that's when, about yeah. all I can do. Yeah, it's just comes, like send it in a direction. He comes down. In the warehouse, and that old guy's like, "Are you an alien?" He goes, "No, well, you got a condition." <laughs> Classic, uh, and it's it's so cool. it's way more quotable than any of the. I mean, that's very Marvel weird, movies. It's very, yeah. very, very one line. Like Captain America, it seems to be running on some kind of electricity. I was like, "Oh, that's." Cool. I yeah. think I think my favorite line in in the whole movie, though, the the best line out of the whole thing was. There's only one god, ma'am, and he doesn't dress like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now I'm going to jump. And he fucking <laughs> no, I'm gonna jump, jump out, out of the it. plane. Oh. Like, and Scar- <laughs> Black Widow was like, maybe you need to sit this one out, Cap. He's like, I don't think I can. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, great. they played Cap like they played Cap like he should have been played. It was a perfect character. Mm-hmm. I just feel like he didn't feel like the leader. He didn't feel like the center of the Avengers as much. Well, as he's he still adjusting. Have. Like, he, he's, yeah. he just, just recently got cut out of ice. that's true. Yeah. And I don't think we meant. Did we mention that it's the new record holder for uh, opening weekend yet? Not yet, not not while we're recording. It made two, as of today, it's made two hundred point eight million dollars, which shatters shatters the previous record holder of Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows, Part Two. Duh. Part Dukes, uh, which was at one hundred and seventy nine million. I'm struggling with that one for the opening weekend. Okay. They made eighteen million on Thursday at midnight. Uh-huh. Wow! I mean, well, it's, it's a huge. It's huge. Harry Potter's Thursday at midnight was like forty seven million, and then no happened. one went back. Because yeah. I think there's a lot of repeat viewers for this one. Yeah, I really like. I really toyed with like just staying in the theater and watching it again, <laughs> letting the. Film... I kind of want to go see it again. I mean, I definitely I do. really want to go see it again. I mean, it was it was it's it's rare that I want to go back to the theater and see something, mm-hmm. and this is like the first time in a long it's time. It's definitely a movie that's worth seeing in the theater. Absolutely, you have and to see it in theater. 3D, no, I've we never... definitely need to go. We need to go down to Hoover and do. 3D I saw it. In, I saw it 3D in 3D IMAX. today, just because like the 2Ds didn't start till like seven. So I had, we had to. Why well, was it actually? Why you well, should have mentioned that earlier. Let's. Oh, talk sorry. No, it was it was great. I mean, like I don't much care for three D. Was general. it a lot of like I, I didn't notice like where there'd be a lot of whoa. No, no, no. Yeah. And no, I love no, that Tim you Burton. don't have you don't have to. We, this is a radio show, and you know exactly what yeah. that means. Whoa. whoa, I'm Tim Burton. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, no, there Weird wasn't. Trees. There wasn't a ton of that. <laughs> um, there was actually one thing that. Happens, I think, in like every 3D action movie that they were really close to doing and chose not to do, which is, is the crashed helicopter still Coming spinning blade. And it didn't do that. It didn't. It just stopped. A, if I'm a few feet. If I'm not mistaken, this was um, retrofitted for 3D. It was not filmed in okay. 3D. Yeah. Correct. Uh, unlike a Mazing Spider-Man. Which is mm-hmm. filmed in 3D. Oh, now that looks like it's gonna make me sick, but I also great. I cannot yeah. wait Ooh. for that. Uh, oh, what a good, uh, what a good trailer! Almost as good as the trailer for Expendables 2. Oh uh, fuck! You. With Dude, Chuck Norris, yeah, Chuck that looks Norris. great. Chuck Norris. Dude, it's when got Chuck. when Chuck Norris walked out on the screen, everyone simultaneously went, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> 
he just walks out like that's the only part of the trailer he's in is him walking well, the, towards There's like it. a spot at the end where he shoots a gun, I think. It's but. like, what the fuck? And then Arnold like rips the car door off that smart off the car. Yeah. Like, I have shoes bigger than this. I'm like, dude, uh, Shaq totally uh, said that in a commercial and you stole his joke. Yeah, that, I think Aww. that's from Kazam. I, th- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think that's a line from Steel. <laughs> Oh, oh, steel. Ooh. Ooh. Low blow. Ooh, that's, that's rough. You actually, know, actually, Shaq became a doctor of education today. Oh, wow. Honorary? Wait, honorary? No. Or like, no, he completed 40, 54 hours of doctorate level coursework. I'm going wow. wow. to give a wow. Give a wow. Right to Shaq. Dr. Shaq. Yeah. That's right. That's because because Brit, when Brittany said that to me, I was like, oh, well, it's honorary, like nine of Bill Cosby's ten. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, she read the article and was like, nope, 54 hours of doctorate level coursework. He has a PhD in education. Wow. So what we have to do now is have a McDonald's commercial where he <laughs> and Dr. J talk like, oh, I'm an actual doctor. Or Dr. Or- Dre. They, they they kept calling or him. They Gene kept, Simmons, they kept or, calling yeah. him Dr. O'Neill on NBA Tonight before the Celtics game came That's on. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, oh, like oh, hey, Dr. he was talking. Him and, and Char- then- Charles Barkley was like, hey, Dr. O'Neill. That's terrible. <laughs> he was just at Alabama doing a PSA Wait, about drinking. <laughs> Who? Charles Barkley or? Shaq. Shaq was? Shaq was doing a PSA against drinking at UA, and one of my friends is really like, tiny. And do you it, know where you are? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, God, that was so funny. <laughs> Sorry. Weight Watchers. <laughs> What, tell us about your tiny friend, Katie. Ten oh, they just picked him up and held him like a baby. There's all these pictures on Facebook of Shaq holding <laughs> yeah. everyone like a baby. Apparently, during commencement, he had to kneel down so that he could shake the hand of the person giving him his degree. <laughs> I believe it. Because he's really tall. You Classic guys ever Shaq. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey. oh, Shaq. I wish, I wish the candy would rain from the sky. <laughs> what a stupid wish. That's your first wish, is candy what? raining oh, from the sky. Oh, <laughs> Kazam. We're, we're back. That's the... <laughs> Man, you guys really tell us how you really feel, Dude, man. Kazam, God damn it! Like, come on, man. You could have been. You could add anything. He's a fucking genie, and you were like, "Oh, well, what do we make candy rain from the sky?" I'm like, man, that's gonna fucking hurt. Yeah, someone's <laughs> gonna get hurt really bad. Yeah, it depends on the kind of candy. Like once, I man, M and M's reaching terminal velocity. That shit hurts. And and if <laughs> break some windows, you're not man, even right allowed to throw M and M's off the Empire State Building. What if it's not from the sky? And if the genie hurricane, terrifying. If yeah. the genie's a dick, he can. Give you like Mary Janes, those like orange and or black. Mike and Ike's, yeah, and be like, well, that's candy, <laughs> yeah, like there hey, you go, you like chunky bars, boom. <laughs> Should be more some, specific with here's your candy. Here's some juices. yabba zabba. Like. I want it to rain wrapped sour straws. <laughs> <laughs> I need. I to, can you? Can it rain loose Skittles, please? Yeah. <laughs> Werther's original, and they're just pelting <laughs> you in there. That is the ultimate old person candy. Uh, and my dad. Loves them. Man, I love. Does he keep I a pocket them. full of them and hand them out to no. children? What are words? Anything is it that butterscotch is that yeah. butterscotch? Yeah, I think yeah. they're butterscotch. Yeah. Anything that you have to pull from either end. Yeah. Dan Parrott will eat. Like that's it, that's <laughs> even the on ones that list. have like that are pretend watermelons or pretend strawberries. Dan Pratt. Oh the oh god. <laughs> <laughs> worst candy. I, I wish Five Dollar General candy. candy would rain from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, God, this was a terrible wish. Can I have a candy umbrella? Oh, no, yeah. it fell apart because of the candy rain. Oh, my eye. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Why did I look up when it was raining hard candy? <laughs> well, it, I, wanted to, I wanted to rain hail from the sky. Oh, my teeth. <laughs> Snacks and drinks. Kazam's like, oh, man, this wasn't a very good wish. You need to try again. <laughs> oh, shit. Be oh. careful what you wish for. <laughs> it's just, Kazam out. He needs to play uh, Captain Marvel in the Shazam movie. <laughs> <laughs> Please say there's not going to be a Shazam movie. It's like a little white kid, yeah, totally and then he says it. Shazam and becomes <laughs> Shaq. <laughs> and he's not even a superhero. He just turns into Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. <laughs> Which is great, because you're Doctor of education rich. and yeah. pro basketball That's right. player. He's, a, super, he's a superintendent somewhere. He's got a doctor of education. This is lame. I, didn't, I wish I hadn't had the Shazam power. I wish candy would rain from the sky. More like shit, Zam. Like shit, Zam. Well, thanks for listening to the Probably Comics, Probably Movies crossover event of the year. Uh, 
If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can follow me at Uncanny Tom. That's T H O M, or at Thomas Warren. And if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, you can follow me at at DT Mills. You can follow me on Twitter at Link Z Two. If you'd like to follow me, uh, it's at Jacob Falls. And Katie, where can we find you on the internet? At Kathleen Fraley for my we didn't quote things that never end in the middle of the night. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, well, um, where can we find us on the internet? Oh, that's right. You can find us at probablycomics.com, um, youtube.com slash probablycomics, facebook.com slash probablycomics, at probablycomics, which only gets tweeted to. All of those things uh, also apply to probably movies. Probably. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. If you want to see our other Probably Movies about the Muppets, uh, you can check us out at probablymovies.com or twitter.com slash probablymovies. I don't believe it's Facebook. Roll Tide. <clears throat> roll tide. It's all of a Roll Tide day. Damn it. <laughs> roll Tide day. My friend's going to stop listening. This podcast is not actually brought to you by Kingdom Comics. It was Alabama. Thanks, Dan. And Albert. Roscoe. Jason. Um, Clay. And that's the little kid's name. Sandra, the crazy name one lady. <laughs> <laughs> And thanks, thanks, Vestavia Hills Rave. Yeah, oh yeah. And Vestavia Hills Rave. Oh, yeah.